Greetings. I want to ask a question. Did Neville Goddard taught the Bible? I want to answer it by saying oh. definitely Neville Goddard did taught the Bible. And the reason why I'm doing this video because someone would have sent a link for me with someone who was saying that Neville never taught the Bible. But I realized that this person is someone who's probably just looking for views and want to be known. You see, you can never try to interpret the Bible the way it was taught to you by your parents, your clergy, the theologians, and so on. Because the way how it was taught to you is to enslave you. Therefore, you must have an experience that will teach you the true interpretation of the Bible. In other words, when you become the living word, interpreting the written word, then you would understand clearly that the Bible is a book of mind science and that it must be interpreted psychologically. You must understand it esoterically and you must understand the Bible from living on the inside to reflect on the outside. So it is not historical. So someone who grew up from the background of religion or uh, belonging to some denomination, they never realized that they were taught to look at the Bible from the exoteric understanding instead of the esoteric understanding of the Bible. And that is why most people who look at the Bible as literal and secular history, you can look at the results that they're getting in their life. And you can see that it's all contradictory or contradiction with what they are teaching. And they all seem to contradict themselves. And the perfect example was from 2020 to 2022. Anyone who have eyes to see would have seen how brainwash and deceive secular Christianity is. Anyone who have eyes to see could have seen the brainwash. You could have seen how a scam could have used against these people to control them. And these are the same people who would believe that it was the fulfillment of prophecy. You see, I remember growing up and in the 80s when HIV or AIDS came on the scene, many preachers and many religious ones were saying that it is judgment from God upon homosexuals and so on. But they failed to realize that eunuchs in the Bible speaking of, of homosexuals, okay? And when you really come down to the whole truth about HIV and AIDS, it's something that was made up in a lab. But yet all these religious superstitious people were saying that it is judgment of God. Also, you'd realize that religious and superstitious people, they can never tell you that God spoke to them and showed them how to teach the rest of humanity to be rich or to be successful or to have whatever they desire in this world. It is always God spoke to them and showed them something destructive or something negative. It's, it's never something that is positive and uplifting. So my brother and my sisters, I want to say to you that the Bible is a book of mind science. It's all about the mind. Therefore, if you listen to the teachings of Neville, you will realize that he is teaching you that true salvation is self-realization. But most people get chopped with the law and they miss the truth of the promise.
the new birth, the inner experience where you are awake within yourself, they miss that and they run with the law. When everyone in this world is using the law, whether consciously or unconsciously, everyone is using the law. And even Neville himself said that many would take the law and run with it to make a buck. And so my brother, my sisters, are you going to chase after the temporal things? Or are you going to seek to know your eternal self, your higher self, your true self? Which one is more important? Are you going to seek to find your soul so that you can own any and everything that you design this world? Are you, are, are you going to try to gain this world and lose your soul, not knowing who you are? That is why you are told that you must seek first the kingdom. And when you seek first the kingdom of God, and you find the kingdom of God, you find the secret of creation. Because you come to realize that your real identity is your divinity. And you'll use your God power to achieve your every desire. That's why it says all these things will be added unto you. So my brother, my sister, I want to say to you that Neville definitely taught the Bible. But the thing is, many people like to camp around a messenger and denominate themselves around a messenger and, and create an idol around someone who would have come and give the message and move on. And when there's someone around who is sharing the present truth and taking it further, many times people are blind to those who are taking it further, to those who are showing you beyond the dollar. Because most people is all about, oh, manifest and manifest this and manifest that and, and so on. But I'm saying to you, it's all about finding yourself. That is why I've been teaching that true salvation, as I said before, is self-realization. And it is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N. For it is the dawning of a new day in your life. That is what this whole teaching is all about. The sun will rise within you. And you will have your first day experience. The dawning of a new day in your life. Because you definitely come to realize that without the sun, the S-U-N, there's no life and there's no light. And without the human imagination, there isn't anything made that was made. For the sun parallels the human imagination and the human imagination parallels the sun. For without the sun, there's no life and there's no light. And without the human imagination, there isn't anything made that was made. Therefore, those who believe in a S-O-N to be the light of the world, they're brainwashed. And then idolatry. But I'm saying to you, the sun is the light of the world. It's the giver of all life. Nothing can live without the energy of the sun. So my brother and my sister can go on and on and on and on. But I want to come to a close. I want to say to you, if this is the very first time that you listen to me, what I'm saying, if it makes sense to you, if it really resonates with you, and you have a subscriber already, I'm definitely encouraging you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, if you like to follow me on Instagram, I like to follow me on TikTok, you can definitely follow me at Black Mad Guru. And I would also encourage you to get my latest book. It's called Spiritual Recipe for Better Living. And this one open up the Bible to you from a metaphysical standpoint, from an esoteric standpoint, and showing you that it all have to do with the human psyche. Uh, for as a man thinketh in his heart, a subconscious mind, so is he. It's all mental. It's all psychological. Also, if you'd like to be a part of my Patreon community, you're most welcome. However, for people donating 20 or more dollars, I have a course there that's called the Inner Sun Science and Technology to create your reality consciously. And along with that is a bonus course and self-concept. So if you feel strongly like to listen to those videos, I'll definitely encourage you to do so. Also, if you like mentoring, uh, you, like, uh, you like to have some form of coaching, uh, you can reach out to me by way of email. Also, if you want to do a one-on-one, -on -one, you can reach out to me by way of email. And as long as we come to a decision, we can definitely work together but just before i leave you i just want to remind you that if you feel strongly led to support this work that we have a paypal and that the link is always down below so with that being said my brothers and my sisters i just want to say peace love you all um out